You may have seen the video I made about this Friden calculator and the problems we had with the eBay seller that we bought it from. And, um, and as I said at the time, the packaging it was sent in was woefully inadequate and it was very badly damaged. It doesn't look that bad on the face of it. When you start looking in detail, pretty much everything that comes out through the case is bent. Um, it's been dropped onto this side from quite a height by the look of it. There's a huge dent in the back and it looks like it landed on the carriage because it's ripped off all the uh, inner gearing that drives the, the carriage. Um, so that's all stripped out. Um, none of the keys will move. The entire machine is warped. Uh, so I suspect that internally there's a, a lot of damage. I haven't taken the covers off or dismantled it at all yet. Uh, we were waiting to um, decide what to do with it, whether to send it back or to maybe have a look at it as a uh, kind of an extreme example of trying to restore something. And um, I was one for a challenge, so I've decided I'm going to look into actually restoring this. I suspect we might run into problems when we get the covers off uh, in terms of the the drive being bent, uh, etc. So if you've seen Curious Marks restoration on one of these, you'll know that the adjustments inside or some of the adjustments inside are very sensitive and so I suspect one in this condition is going to be uh, very difficult to, to recover. Um, it's been dropped on its back as well by the look of it because the carriage is actually pressed up hard against the main body so I suspect that the, the brackets that hold everything together and hold the carriage and the guides in place are also bent. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is, is take the covers off, have a look at it and um, see if there's any point in trying to uh, actually repair it and get it going. So um, let's get the covers off. Okay so I've got all the covers off. Uh, they came off reasonably easy. Um, I suspected they're mostly bent. I should be able to straighten out most of the major dents. Uh, some of them are quite significant uh, to the extent that it's been hit so hard that uh, various bits have been sheared off the inside and cut clean through. You can see how badly bent this piece is. But the main problem is that um, the way the mechanism works is effectively it sets various states on what really amounts to a state machine, a mechanical state machine. Um, so these levers, especially the control levers, um, or buttons I should say, control levers that engage or disengage various parts of the internal mechanism. That means that when you push these levers they impinge on something internally and if you press them too hard or push too many all at the same time effectively they're supposed to block each other to stop you doing more than one function at once. Now that means that if you press them still harder then something at some point is going to give and the sorts of damage you get is quite hard to see. Um, let's get the light over here. Is things such as this. It doesn't look like it's significantly damaged but it's it's effectively been pressed down by the negative multiply key. You can kind of see it's trying to move. The negative multiply key presses this lever down and there's a section of it goes down and engages on a pin on the end of this lever um, but because it was pressed down at the same time as the um, accumulator multiply it, it couldn't move any further and what it's done is bent the entire rod. Because of the way the machine works the accuracy that these are made to or adjusted to is very fine so if too many of these are out around the machine it may be incredibly difficult to repair it and get these back in line. Either way it means completely stripping the machine down. However the main part, the main problem with the machine is that the cast base is bent. It's been hit extremely hard and it's actually twisted. So there's about a, an eighth of an inch uh, bend across the machine. This corner is an eighth of an inch high uh, probably because the rear right got a, a severe impact. So what I'm going to need to do before I do anything else is completely remove the um, the mechanics from the base and then see if there's any way I can straighten the base out. Now it is cast 
so that could um, cause some major issues. I have straightened castings like this in the past but it can be extremely risky, it might just crack and break in half. Uh, but I'll try getting it off, giving it a good heat soak and then we'll try to, uh, to get it straight. If I get that straight then it might be possible to look at the rest of the machine but there is a lot of damage especially up around the carriage as I said uh, it's been hit extremely hard on this end and it's forced the carriage against all the gears and stops and um, I think some of the, the gears are actually stripped but at the very least they're no longer in line with the racks that run underneath so um, I don't know if I'll be able to repair that I'll have to take it apart and have a closer look there's a lot of other damage to this machine. As I said, it's had a really rough ride getting here and I've been pulling various bits out of it. Um, I've got to try and figure out where some of these come from. There's a lot of pieces rattling around inside and when I took the bottom cover off uh, it was obvious that there's a lot of bits and pieces caught up inside the mechanism and I've got to try and figure out where they come from, if they can be repaired or reused and if not whether I can make replacements. So, so it's going to be an interesting restoration and we'll have to see whether it's actually possible to, to restore it at all.